sure you're as excited as all of us are here at 2K Sports as we get ready to start the season in stock. Tonight, it'll be the Boston Celtics going up against the Los Angeles Lakers. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello. And from the sidelines tonight, we have David Aldridge. tonight the culmination of all the hard work put in during the offseason and not just by the players you have front offices trying to retool to get better and coaches scheming to get the most out of the players they have and that's a daily job isn't it? all season long staying on top of them making sure that they have an understanding of what they are supposed to accomplish with each and every workout you know, in so many ways, Robert Parrish is a big man's big guy. Dominant down in the paint, focuses on high percentage shots, runs the floor well, and does a good job rim protecting. This guy rebounds, too. Free throw good, Parrish. Both free throws good from Parrish. Here's Johnson. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. Johnson is excellent at keeping. Defense is off balance, Shooting which is why they resort to foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And that one falls for Johnson. And Johnson drops them both. This is what makes him tough. A big guy who can knock him down from the strike. And here's Henderson. Maxwell kicks to Johnson, passes it to Pierce. Oh, and here comes Johnson all alone. And Magic, Magic Johnson, Johnson with the slam. Now you see him, now you don't. Magic with unlimited moves to get by you and score. Now Henderson. First quarter of play, one minute played. Up again, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. The long arms of Parrish, using that incredible length to do damage on the offensive glass. Johnson surveying the floor. Here's Wilkes. Johnson, the pass to Scott. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Wilkes, no good. And the D got super lucky he didn't drain that one. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Here's Henderson. Worthy pulls it in. Defense backing off there, knowing the mid-ranger is a low percentage. Wilkes the pass to Johnson. Now Scott, defended by Parrish. Shot clock at six. Pass to Wilkes. Jamal Jabbar trying to free himself up. Wilkes, good. Got to hit Jamal Wilkes harder than that to prevent the bucket. 52 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Henderson. He dishes it to Parrish. Banked in off the glass. Parrish has got six. Well, that's an easy, effortless make right at the rim. Yeah, you know this. You, you, you usually get only looks like this in the layup line. The defense has to make it harder on him right there. Now, here's Johnson. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. Take what's available. Use the fadeaway when the defender's there on you. 
Maxwell the pass to Anderson. Kicks it to Johnson. The feed now to Bird. That's good. He makes his first shot of the game. We know Bird can shoot it. But what makes Larry an elite offensive force is ability to score from anywhere. Now, here's Scott. Here's the pass to Johnson. Up and in Magic on the way. Six points for Magic Johnson. And a nice play by Scott. Outstanding in the secondary playmaker role. Tie game That's in Boston. We'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Eight. The Los Angeles team. Eight. Getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. What do you guys think about the Celtics here in this one? Seems like even when they miss fire, they're coming up with the rebound. I love the hustle. They've been the more aggressive, visible team for sure. Mike, the NBA switching to a best of five series for the first playoff round this year. Uh, what do you make of the change? Should reward top seeds a bit more. Much better than best of three. You wonder if they'll ever go to best of seven. Well, would a coach be in favor of that? If you're on the sidelines, would that be a road to take? Coaches always love coaching. Add more games. They get to coach that much more. Their fans get to see more games. Of course. Right, right. Here's Buckner. Johnson outside. Parrish up top. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's McHale. It's rebounded by Nader. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. Here's Spriggs, and the rejection by Parrish. Beautiful thing to watch there. Parrish with great anticipation and timing to get to that shot and deny. Offensive rebound. Here's McHale. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. You know, I think that was a message-sending foul there. They're not going to allow any easy buckets at the rim. Yeah, as a coach, I like that one. Make them earn it at the line. And that one falls for McHale. Hey, whether he's starting or coming off the bench, McHale is a guy you definitely have to game plan for. His low post moves are ridiculous. Ainge has checked in for Boston. And McHale drops them both. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Here's Cooper. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Nice dime by Cooper that time, making sure the ball got to the shooter right on target. Johnson's gotten three of his four shots to fall, hitting 75%. Up near the pass to Wedman. Feeds it to McHale. Here's Parrish. The 10 footer finds the target. Parrish has got the lead up to two now for the Celtics. It's simple. You got to get a body into your man. Box out if you want to rebound the ball. Defensive rebounding is about effort, trying, being willing to put a body on someone. And people will say he shouldn't take that mid range look, but he had the space and is capable of making two. Chalk up two there. Parrish has got four this quarter. No easy way to contain Parrish inside. At seven feet tall, he often has the advantage. That was the 2K drive, as that move deserved another look. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. And some changes here for the Celtics. Harry Bird's checked in for McCain. Maxwell comes in for Wedman, and it's Henderson for Buckner. Now, here's Scott. Shoots over Henderson. Scott can't get it to go. There's 45 seconds left in the first half of basketball. 
inside. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. Stolen. Here's Maxwell. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Down low. Here's Bird. And that's rejected by Abdul Jabbar. Scott against Henderson. To the middle. Deflects the pass. Here's Ainge. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Celtics lead by four. He'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Really an incredible game so far from Robert Parrish. Boy, you like the discipline and patience he's played with through the first half. Never forcing it, always letting the game come to him. Just good, sound, fundamental basketball. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Johnson, the pass to Worthy. Back to Johnson. Outside, Scott. Abdul Jabbar, a screen on Maxwell. Wilkes, the pass to Abdul Jabbar. And good that time. Abdul Jabbar has got the opening bucket to start the second half for the Lakers. Parrish outside. Back to Henderson. Worthy against Bird. Goes back up. And it's good on the way. Up. And Bird is so intelligent at reading shot trajectories, which is why he's able to grab offensive rebounds. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Johnson, the pass to Abdul Jabbar. Right through the D for the layup. Abdul Jabbar's got his second bucket of the game to go. Bravo to the defense for getting in Kareem's face inside, but that only motivates him more, I think. Here's Johnson, and it's off the back rim, no good. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Los Angeles. A two point game that evens the score. Johnson's got 10 points. You got to stay up on Johnson because he's good at sensing when to shoot off the dribble. Pass to Bird. Baseline J on the way, and that one drops for him. Bird's got four this quarter. They look to him offensively, a player who makes an impact on this end. Here's Worthy. Back to Johnson. Scott against Johnson. Lock at six. Here's the hook. There's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar on the assist by Scott. Abdul-Jabbar's got the game tied up here for the Lakers. Johnson surveying the floor. On the wing, Burke. Pass to Maxwell. Tries it from 19. He squares up and sinks it. And the Celtics lead by two. Nice shot. DJ loves to go to work in that mid-range area. Scott against Johnson. Pass to Wilkes. Addition now to Abdul Jabbar. Back to Johnson. Worthy a screen on Henderson. Here's Johnson. And that one is off. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Austin on top, leading by just two. And time for the short break, and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next.
quarters behind us. We start the fourth quarter. What is still anybody's ballgame? Here's Buckner. On the wing, Burr. McHale with a screen on Rambis. Burr. It goes straight through with the switch. Bird's got the lead up to four now for Boston. But when you need a huge bucket like that, you know he's your man. Johnson outside. Rambis kicks to Johnson. Here's Abdul Jabbar. It's good with the assist that time from Johnson. Terrific feed that time by Johnson. The moment he sees he's got an open option, he makes the pass. Johnson, the pass to Bird. Kale upside. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Defense. It has been on display all night. A lack of concentration on the defensive end. It's been that way all night. Each team just trying to outscore the other. Ainge just checked in for Buckley. Two minutes well, I'll tell you this. In a close game, you love having a guy like him with the stroke. Now, here is Abdul Jabbar. Back to Johnson. Johnson against Cooper. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut down now to just three on the basket from Abdul Jabbar. Yeah, Purim is so talented inside the paint, using his touch and height to beat the defense. Johnson against Dane. And there's the pass to Burke. 127 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Boston again missing. Lakers trail by three. Johnson outside. Out of bounds. Boston takes possession. And wow, what a time for a turnover. Shows you just how key a play like this can be. And some changes here for the Celtics. There is he's checked in for McKeel. Maxwell comes in for Wedman. And it's Henderson for Ainge. Boston leading by three. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Johnson, the pass to Paris. No block shot on the way. Here's Bird. Dishes it to Paris. Big shot that time from Robert Paris. This is why his guys trust him so much. He delivers. And the Lakers call time here. They're down by five. 51 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And the Lakers making a change here. Scott's checked in. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Brad Nelson had some words for his team during the break. He told them, don't look at the scoreboard. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. One play at a time. Execute the game plan. That's how we're going to win this game. Everyone's trying to keep them Thanks so much, David. Timeout called the Lakers. They're behind by five. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. Second chance shot. It falls! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And that is a gigantic shot from Abdul Jabbar. This guy does not shy away from the spotlight at all. Hurt. No good there. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. The rest of the way, they cannot afford empty possessions. Yeah, the clock is working against them. They may have to pick up the pace. Humongous make right there. Stepping up for his team in a big way. That takes confidence in your game. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. They want to extend this game. That's why they did what they did there. Yeah, so they had to foul there. Need a little luck now. And so they foul intentionally. Magic Johnson. Second personal foul. Third team foul. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by two. Two shots. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a three-point game. And what a huge trip to the line that was. Gets them off and makes it a three-point lead. Timeout called the Lakers. They're trailing by three. 
16 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? This is a tricky situation. I mean, they need to get some kind of bucket to stay alive. They got to do it fast, though. Either a three-pointer or score quickly and take the foul. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Third personal foul. Fourth team foul. He hits the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Gerald Henderson. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. Tremendous poise at the line. That should put this game to bed. Johnson kicks to Scott. Fires for three. Not going to go that time. Oh, it's the Celtics picking up the win. They pull out a tough one, Mike. They were able to maintain the 